What's going on, everybody? Spunk Nights nice the one coming guys another video. Coming at you guys with some breaking news out of Philadelphia. So it was announced earlier today by Ian Rappaport and multiple sources that the Eagles have agreed to a one-year deal with former Atlanta Falcons, um, Tennessee Titans, and Tampa Bay Buccaneers All-Pro Julio Jones. One-year contract. He signs with the on, to the Eagles on um, practice squad. Now. While he's going to be on the practice squad initially, it's expected that once he gets, you know, once he learns this playbook and he gets, you know, he, you know, he gets acclimated to our offense, eventually he will be, of course, promoted to the uh, main roster. And my thoughts on this, I have some relatively mixed thoughts on this because right now I want the Eagles to make a big move on defense, the secondary in particular. But signing a big name like Julio Jones. You know, even though Julio Jones is not the same Julio Jones from six, you know, six, seven years ago. He's not that same Julio Jones, you know. If, if the year was 2016, I would be ecstatic, jump for joy over this signing. But even though he's no longer that Julio Jones, my thoughts on this are plain and simple. I, you know, I can, I can see him, once he learns the, the uh, playbook, he gets acclimated to our team, our offense. You know, reuniting with A.J. Brown, who he, who he was teammates with in uh, Tennessee. And uh, Zacharias as well. Um, he was he was teammates with him as well. Um, once he gets acclimated to our offense, I can see him being a number three, number four option for us, a wide receiver. You know, just some more depth, an an another weapon for, for um, Jalen Hurts. So, like I said, he, um, Julio Jones is not the same Julio Jones. I mean, he's a, this guy right here is definitely a future Hall of Famer. You're talking about over 1,300 career um, receiving yards, over 900 um, um, receptions, over 60, over 60 receiver touchdowns. The guy is definitely on his way to Canton one day. So while he may not be the same Julio Jones from 2016, 2017, that was just absolutely tearing the league apart. The fact that you have this guy on your roster, you have a big name like this, I think this right here could be very good for for A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. You know, you got Julio Jones in the slot. You know, defense is going to have to, even though, even though, like I say, he's not the same Julio Jones, defenses are going to have to respect this guy on that field. So I think it could be a good thing for Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. It, it would get them more open um, with, with him out there. You know, more, more opportunities to catch the football. So, we'll see what um, the, the veteran, the old veteran Julio Jones still has to the tank. I still think he has, you know, I still think he has quite a bit to offer. You know, I think he could definitely be a great mentor for the younger guys on our roster. You know, I, th I, I think, you know, obviously a lot of these guys, you know, such as Devontae Smith, I would imagine, you know, a former Alabama star receiver. No, no. Both of these guys are two former Alabama star receivers. You know, I would imagine that um, Devontae Smith, you know, definitely, you know, had, you know, grew up watching um, Julio Jones and respecting Julio Jones. So it, it could definitely do good for him. You know, to, you know, to, you know, to have a guy like this on the roster for for the roster in general. So I think at this point, Julio's career, you know, Julio is in the twilight of his career clearly, and I think Julio is. You know, he, he's wanting to go out with a ring. He he, want, he wants to get a championship before he retires. You know, 34 years old, Hall of Fame career already. So I think at this point in his career, it's all about, you know, trying to get that championship. Come in and, you know, you know, you know help these younger guys, you know, even though Devontae Smith's already a stud, a star already, but still help these younger guys and, you know, just pass on your knowledge, you know, from your experience in this league. It, it's, it's definitely worked well. It's done wonders for A.J. Brown because – I, like I said, these guys were teammates in Tennessee, and you know AJ Brown has said himself that he's learned he learned quite a bit from Julio Jones. So, like I said, it's not it's not a huge groundbreaking signing like it would have been 2015, 16, whatever. But at the end of the day, it's still a big name player who can come in, a veteran can come in and um, pass on his knowledge to the younger guys. And he can also open up some things in our offense. You know, this this is another weapon for um, Jalen Hurts. Another, you know, another receiving option for Jalen Hurts. So, 
you know, a cheap one-year deal. You know, initially he's going to be on the practice squad, but I expect him to eventually be on the roster at this point of his career. You know, he was a legitimate number one receiver from obviously most of his career. At this point, he's the number three, number four guy. And I, obviously, I'm, I'm a, I, you know, I know that obviously Harry Roseman made that very clear coming into Philadelphia. And I'm sure Julio knows that obviously is that you're coming into here as the as a um, number three, number four guy. And at this point, I think Julio is perfectly fine with that. So some other news, the Eagles um, signed, um, they re-signed um, Jos Josiah Scott, the cornerback. They just re-signed him. So I'm still waiting to see, man, if we make a move um, in the secondary before this um, week is up because, you know, you know, that's what a lot of Eagle fans, such as myself, have been wanting to see, you know, a big move at corner. Some Eagle fans say safety. Which I'm not really as worried about safety. Um, I'm hoping that Reed Blankenship is gonna be fine. Um, you know, so I mean, I, you know, if if you could bring a, a safety in for a reasonable, uh, you know, get, not giving up a whole lot, you know, reasonable, you know, giving up a reasonable amount of compensation, whatever, then I, I'll be okay with that as well. But I think corner is definitely a position that the Eagles need to um, look at in, um, you know, uh, when it comes to acquiring with these other teams. But yeah. Welcome to Philadelphia, Julio Jones. You know, can't wait to see what the what the, uh, the the veteran still has in the tank. I think he still has, I think he still has something left in the tank. We're gonna find out here soon enough. So welcome to Philadelphia, AJ Brown. As always, go AJ Brown. <laughs> welcome to Philadelphia, Julio Jones. As always, go birds. Spunky nights, no one's out of here. Fly, go fly. Peace. Folks.